Hello guys, uh, welcome to my gadget. Uh, as you know that iOS 7 beta version has been released by Apple and if you look at the there are very good things about iOS 7 and you know it, since this is a beta there's uh, some things which is not working quite well. But if you look at uh, the GUI itself it is totally different from the iOS 6. And I love the way that, you know, with the background, when you tilt it, you can see like it's a three dimension. Even the category, if you look at it, it can uh, have uh, different uh, windows. Uh, it has a very good animation whenever you uh, click it, you know, it, it will appear uh, in an animated style. And when you click home, so it looks like it does have a lag. Uh, when you click from one screen to another screen because of that particular animation uh, the camera is quite good you know it, they have a different uh, you know photo you can even have a square when you send it to the Instagram uh, it has a uh, different filters if you want to change to different filters have a different effect and quickly you can have a panorama uh, capture on the screen and a wonderful thing about its photos uh, you can immediately have you know you able to edit the photos uh, with different filters if you want to and you can apply it and if you look at the photo itself uh, <coughs> uh, it has an album shared and photos here the way that it categorize the photo is very nice based on the the months of the photo being collected this is the collections you know you can go deep into the that particular time frame period or the collection can be in years you know uh, these are the countries that i've been to so it's quite nice to have this kind of uh, way of to to view and search your particular photos you know you can uh, click it here you can see it goes you, know, you can share it uh, with different of your social media accounts and you can add drop it to any another iOS device which have an add drop capability so it's quite nice to have this uh, iOS 7 beta version which I installed about two or three days back but there are you know, uh, another thing sorry to, to show you that this has a multitasking where you can uh, you know move around to a particular uh, apps and you can uh, quit the apps but one thing which is missing is that I love to have a one button to kill all the multitasking apps at the back and you look at the notification it's good to see that it has a different way of showing the notification and the command center from here you can it's just like an SB settings but another thing that uh, I would like to show the the because it's a beta version, there are a few things which is uh, quite in uh, some bugs. For example, Google Plus it doesn't work; it just crashes. You know, whenever you launch the apps, uh, this one of the problem. Uh, I have an everyday apps which uh, normally, if I can uh, like to create, also will crash. Uh, I have an apps called T Zero. You know, you you can. I try to edit it. The problem is when you try to edit the title, it will not be able to change. So this is also a problem. Uh, another problem is if we run uh, what we call a WeChat uh, app. Let's look at the WeChat apps. Uh, one way to search is like this: you just uh, scroll it down, and you can type it. So you can have a WeChat. Uh, the problem is, for example, if you have moments and you want to post uh, a photo, for example, uh, it's unable to do this. You know, you can select and post the photos on the WeChat uh, photo apps. So these are the few things which is uh, still have bugs within the iOS uh, seven beta version. But most probably, the apps uh, should be upgraded or you know. To, to make it more compatible with the iOS 7. So that's all folks. Thank you. Bye.